Well, I finally took the plunge and purchased my first semi-automatic handgun. And as you can see, I chose an Ed Brown. Now I'll explain the reasons why a little later, but let's take a look at the gun. Now as most of you know, Ed Brown supplies you with this really attractive canvas pouch for the gun. And some of the enclosures that they give you are to give you an Allen key to adjust the tension of the trigger. They give you a small container of gun oil. They give you a safety lock, of course. There's the ballistics test. There's various paperwork. There's my bill of sale in there. This is a little tag that they attach to the trigger. And in the main compartment, they give you the owner's manual and, of course, the gun. And get the pouch out of the way. And let's do a safety check. I'm going to remove the magazine. And I'll show you that the chamber is empty. So we'll be dealing with a safe gun here. And let me prop this, this up. And zoom in. Now, why did, I, uh, why did I decide to purchase a custom gun? Well, many years ago my father taught me that if you're going to buy something important, to buy quality. And if you can't afford it, save up until you can. So for this particular purchase I just decided to go top shelf and purchase a fully handmade custom handgun. And with all due respect to the Sig Sauers and the Kimbers and the Colts of the world, um, I just decided I wanted to get a custom-made gun. They are very, very fine guns, but um, I decided to uh, zero in mostly on Ed Brown, Wilson Combat, and Nighthawk Custom. And in doing so, I did contact all three companies to find out what their lead time was on a new purchase. And they all ran anywhere from seven months to a year and a half. And I was leaning towards Ed Brown to begin with, so I contacted a Ed Brown dealer out in the state of Washington who told me that they had several Ed Browns on order, some of which were entering the final stages of production. And one of those was a Special Forces model, which is the model I wanted in this large size, as you see here. Uh, the only problem was I'm a lefty shooter and I need a ambidextrous safety on my guns. So they told me that the gun that was in going into final stages did not have the ambidextrous safety. They called Ed Brown and they asked him if it was not too late to add the safety. And they said they could, but there would be an upcharge of about $50, which I certainly was willing to pay. So when they presented this all to me, I, and told me that I can have the gun in seven weeks, I jumped at it and my decision was pretty much made. I, uh, I purchased this gun. So I was able to get this gun brand new from the factory in seven weeks instead of seven months. And as I said, I purchased the Special Forces model. That's the one I wanted all along. Um, part of the reason is I really like this chain link design that they put on the fore strap and the back strap. It's very attractive. And of course you get the Cocobolo grips which come on all Ed Brown guns. And uh, they got this beautiful almost orangey brownish tint to them and uh, they really stand out and, and they make the gun very attractive. Um, why did I go with the large size? Well, I think part of the reason was I wanted to have the experience that our soldiers had all through the generations. I mean, this was the platform that they shot, the full-size 1911 45 
Um, I wanted to have that experience, and uh, that's just why I chose it. Um, I didn't want the commander size or any of the smaller sizes, and I, I don't have a carry permit, so it, the, the issue of, of carrying it in a holster was not there, so uh, this is the one that I chose. I'm very, very satisfied with this gun, very happy with it. As I said, I got it about four weeks ago. I've already put 200 rounds through it, so it's still in the break-in period. But out of those 200 rounds, there's been no issues whatsoever. The gun is shooting like a dream. Uh, it's very comfortable in the hand. I mean, it, it feels like an extension of my left hand. And the trigger is very smooth. The action on it, needless to say, because it's a custom gun, is um, very, very tight and precise. And um, it's just a great gun. It's a beautiful, beautifully made machine. And um, as I said, I'm very happy with it. So I want to keep this uh, video brief. I will be doing a video from my range. I do want to shoot it and show you folks how it, how it fires. And um, in closing, I just want to say I, I highly recommend this pistol to anybody out there that's thinking of getting one. And I just want to say shoot often and shoot safe.